Hey guys, Matt from Horse. So today we're going to be painting and customizing wheels. We're going to be using masking tape and fine line tape to create our own custom and unique design. We're going to be painting using aerosol cans so you can do this at home to your own wheels. Or maybe you want to buy a set of wheels for your car. You can always pick up a set of wheels easily with scratches and imperfections. People normally get rid of wheels when they get old and worn out looking because they don't know how to make them look good again. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how you can do that. Okay, so we know the front face of these wheels doesn't look good, but that's not important when you're going to look at a set of wheels for your car. The most important thing to check is the back of the wheels. And what we're looking for is any buckles or any hairline cracks that can appear in the wheels. I always try to look for a, a set that may have a little bit of damage on the face, but that they're straight and true. And that when we put them on the car, we're not going to have any steering issues or any wobbles or any vibrations in the steering. Starting with the back of the wheels, I'm going to give these wheels a thorough clean using a cheap non-acidic wheel cleaner. You can do this with just soap and water, but I like to leave the wheel cleaner sit for 10-15 minutes and then it makes light work of the dirt and the old brake dust. And you will always get a stubborn patch that you can use some wire wool or some scotch pad just to help remove it. Okay, so we've got the wheels all cleaned up there now. It has revealed some scratches and marks that's on the wheels, but we know that already. So we're going to sand out with 80 grit sandpaper and 180 grit sandpaper and that'll leave it ready for primer. With some 80 grit sandpaper on the heavy damage and the paint chips and then 180 to key and smooth the surface for the primer we're almost ready to start transforming these old wheels into something a bit more cool and modern looking. Okay so we've got the wheel all nice and smooth we sanded it with 80 and 180 grit sandpaper now we're going to mask up the tyre just so we can put the primer on. The biggest issue people have when masking wheels is getting the tape to stick. I've used everything from duct tape to a deck of playing cards to mask up a wheel and all of these methods work to keep the overspray from landing on the tyre. The tyre's all masked off. Now we're going to give it a cold grey primer. This will give it a nice smooth finish and it'll also give the paint job a real quality look. It can be tempting to skip the primer stage, but it ensures you will have a super smooth finish, ideal for all base coats and clear coats. Okay, so after 20 minutes of drying, I've given the wheels a quick wet sand with 800 grit sandpaper. And then after I dry down, we check the wheels to make sure that the scratches and damage are invisible. This is a standard air salt silver I had lying around. The shade doesn't really matter here as it's only going to be used for the highlights in the wheel. Okay so we have our wheel all ready for our design to be laid out. For the design I'm going to be using some uh, fine line tape and some 2 inch masking tape. And then I'm going to be using a razor blade just to cut out the design. So in order to get the design I just play around with the fine line tape. And I just lay it down in different areas and start to see what it looks like. And if I don't like it I just pull it off and start again. Um, Every wheel is different, so it's a matter of just playing with the wheel and seeing what kind of design suits your wheel. If you're looking for help getting the design on your wheel, send me a DM on Instagram uh, and I'll get back to you and I'll try and help you out get a design for your wheels. I've decided to make a custom shape for each spoke on the wheel. It's a little bit tricky to do, especially cutting the tape by hand, but I thought I'd give it a go anyway for the video. Okay, so we have a little template or part of the design I want to do on the wheel. So now we're just going to transfer this onto masking tape so then we can apply it to the wheel and use it as a mask to spray over. Normally if I was doing this I'd use a vinyl plotter but I wanted to show that this can also be done by hand although it's not as precise. Now what I'm simply going to do is go around with a razor blade and cut out each pattern. The template I'm using just about fits inside the tape line but I hope you guys get the idea and the design I'm starting to create. I'm making sure here to push down hard on the tape edges to minimise the chance of the paint creeping under the masking tape. Okay, so the design's starting to come together. Now I'm going to run a layer of fine line tape around the rim of the wheel. Running fine line tape around the outer rim is probably one of the easiest designs you can put on your wheels. A lot of the car manufacturers and wheel companies nowadays simply do this by adding a bright colour to the wheel rim edge. I'm just finishing up by trimming the tape with a razor blade, being careful not to cut right through to the paint. Okay, so you can see our design now we've laid out. It does look a little bit crazy at the minute, but it's going to look really, really good when we paint the black on and then we peel off our masking and that will reveal the silver underneath, which should give us a really cool looking design. Um, so I'm going to go and lay the black down and then we'll pull off the masking and then we'll give it a cold clear coat. Okay, so we're going to be going to paint on the black now. This is just a standard metallic black. But before we do that, we're just going to go around and check all the masking and make sure it's all well pushed down and there's no bits where it's uh, sitting up. Because uh, when we do put the paint on, there is a chance of it bleeding through. But the best way to avoid that is, is to put a really, really light coat first around where the masking is. And then you can go on then and put your heavier coat on after the first coat is dried. 
Just as a reminder, spray paint has to be accompanied by a good quality respirator that feels good and fits well. That's about as much paint as I put on to her first coat. That way there's less chance of the paint bleeding through underneath the masking tape. If you guys have an idea of what colour or wheel design you'd like to see done in my next wheel video, please put it in the comments below. I've got full coverage with about three coats. At the minute there is a dull finish, but when we paint on 2K clear, it will give it a nice deep shine. Okay, so I've gotten full coverage on the black paint. It isn't fully cured yet. So we're going to want to pull off the mask a bit before the paint is fully dry. That way it'll give a cleaner and sharper line. Using a sharp razor blade or something with a sharp point, flick up the edge of the masking tape, being careful not to pull up the semi-cured paint. It's at this point that we can start to see our design come to life. I'm putting these on a black car, so I think they will really suit. Okay, so I have these center caps I want to use for the wheels but I don't really like the colour of them. So I'm going to strip them down and remove the Audi logo and I'm going to paint them black and paint the logo maybe a metallic silver. The Audi badges are very delicate and can easily break so it's important to take care and precision when you're removing them. These caps are quite scuffed and have paint flaking so I'm going to sand with 180 grit sandpaper again to remove the uneven paint. The Audi emblems only need a quick clean down with a wire brush to prepare them for paint. And then using the same grey primer everything gets a quick coat to leave them perfect for base coat. I priced the centre caps for these wheels and the prices were quite expensive, almost the same price I paid for the wheels. I was between two minds on what colour to go for, but I decided to go for black on the centre caps and silver on the album, which will suit the black wheels and the black car perfectly. After everything is dried for about 20 minutes, it's just a matter of putting them back together, which is so satisfying when you start to see the contrast between the black and the silver colours. After a quick wipe down of a tack cloth, it's time to apply the clear. I always go with 2K clear coat, as it's harder wearing and it can be buffed within 6 hours. Laying down the clear coat is always the most satisfying part of the job, and it's straightforward as well, as the wheels are lying flat which helps not get any runs in the finish. And after that final coat of clear coat, I will leave these ideally overnight to dry before moving them or putting them on the car. Ok so it's the next morning and the clear coat now has been dry overnight. And there is some slight orange peel in the wheels, so I've decided to go ahead and wet sand and buff the wheels. To do this, I'll be sanding down the wheels with 2000 grit sandpaper, and then I'll be applying some G3 compound, and I'll be buffing the wheels. The one thing you have to be careful with when you're doing wheels is not to actually burn the clear coat. Because of all the curves, it can be quite difficult to actually buff them. But um, it'll give a, and I really think it'll be worth doing, and it'll give the wheels a nice deep shine for when I put them onto the car. Because of the curves on the wheel, there is no possible way to use a sanding block, so I am sanding these with 2000 grit by hand, not spending much time sanding in one area, to eliminate the possibility of going through the clear coat. The most important item when buffing, in my opinion, is the rubbing compound. I have had issues in the past where I have been using the wrong compound and it makes buffing a lot more time consuming than it should be. I have only spent 30 seconds to a minute buffing each wheel, and keeping the buffing head slightly damp as well with water to ensure I do not burn through the fresh clear coat. And as you can see, it brings up the clear coat to a nice mirror finish. This is the car I've bought and painted the wheels for. Now it's time to jack the car and get rid of these horrible wheels. 16 inch wheels are really too small a wheel for this size of car anyway. The 18 inch black wheels we're putting on will look so much better. Okay, so here's a quick comparison of the standard factory alleys that have been on the car and the ones we've done that are ready to put on. I think these ones look so much better and they're going to suit the car really well. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I think they look a lot better time to get them on the car. The black and silver is going to look really really good. One bit of advice I want to give you before you go out and get a set of wheels is to first ensure that they actually fit your car before painting them or ordering any supplies. I can't count the amount of people I know who have went and painted their wheels or put on new tyres to realise that they don't actually fit the car. All that's left for us to do is put the centre caps on. Okay so the wheels are back on the car. I think it's a big improvement than the standard alloys that were on this and we didn't put much money into this either, the wheels were cheap and we had the aerosol cans and the fine line tape lying there so we didn't spend much money and I think it's something that you can do on a set of wheels of your own car if you want to send me a DM on Instagram I'll try and help you out with a design check the description for that, I tried to reply to everyone within 24 hours I hope he inspired you to go out and paint your wheels or go and get a set of wheels and try the same 
and I hope you enjoyed the video guys and thanks for watching see you in the next one